Peter, Debra, congratulations. You fellas have made it into the third round of this competition. Now, when you came here, we had you make signature blades in your signature style. That's not gonna happen at your home forges. Instead, you'll be making one of these. Genghis Khan sword. Sweet. Good luck, we'll see you in four days. Bring your A game. I'll bring my A plus game. <laughs> I'm back in Austin, Texas, and I have to make Genghis Khan's sword. Let's get to work. I was considering a Damascus build, but I think it's a risk. You're asking for potential D lambs and uh, weak points, so I'm thinking of a strong mono steel here. I'm gonna go function, function, function. I think this is gonna be a challenge no matter what, just sheer length of, you know, the longer it is, it's harder to keep these things straight. You're asking for warps and other weirdness to go on. I'm hoping to get the whole fuller in today and the tang shaped out. Pretty happy with it, how it's going so far. So basically, my sword is ready to quench now. Pull it out. Wow, oh, it's pretty straight. And it's hard. This is a huge relief. So this is day two. It seems like day 10 or something. It's brutal. I'm forging along. It's starting to stretch out nicely. I want to leave it a little bit thick to avoid a big Should be able to get into some uh, heat treat. I really want to get this done right the first time. I don't want something to go wrong. I pull it out. <clears throat> Not bad. Not like a pool stick, but it's got a little whoop de doo in, but I've got a lot of meat on the blade to straighten that out. A little tired, but nothing some good coffee won't cure. I got a octagonal guard knocked out. And I'm gonna make some epoxy and set some pins, and then we'll uh, start thinking about our butt cap. My plan is to put this butt guard on and use the press just real gently to conform the metal over the groove and lock it into place. So it's got this physical connection. I go to the press, it feels like it should just press into place. And it immediately goes south. Ah, crap. I break my freaking handle. It looks like I popped it open here. I noticed the handle screwed up, but I gotta pry it off, and clean everything up, and re-epoxy, repin everything. Round two. I also have to fix the butt cap that I mess up trying to press it into the tang. I have to change my game plan and attach the butt plate by epoxy. I do feel like I'll be able to get a handle on the situation. <laughs> trying to figure out this handle design. The finishing of a weapon, I feel, is the most time consuming. This is tedious. So I got this curved tang to deal with. So I decided to cut the pieces up. My idea is to have the tang sticking out, because I have to put this little hole in there for a little, <laughs> little tassel. Put the handle together, doing a dry fit. Uh oh. See, my angle's way off. Hmm. I'm going to go bend this tang just a hair. It's going to be real close. I really thought I'd be further along, like pretty much done right now. But I think I'm set up good for tomorrow to finish. It's the last day. I have a sword. So now it's sharpen, sharpen, sharpen. I'm going for a very sharp edge, and that's a bit of a uh, calculated risk. So it will certainly help in a cut and potentially kill test. But if the strength test is bashing against bones or something, then this could be a detractor for me. I believe my sword is a lot like Genghis Khan, actually. <laughs> Sharp and really freaking brutal. I think there's only one thing left to do. We, we gotta give this some sort of test. Woo! Okay. That was kind of cool. Right, Bladesmiths, welcome to the kill test find out what kind of lethal damage your weapon will do. I will take your sword and deliver some killing blows to this ballistic dummy. Peter, you're up first. You ready? Yes, sir. Let's do this.
<laughs> All right, Peter, first up, your edge is sharp. The balance feels good, but it did take quite a pronounced bend. But the more important thing is it'll keel. <laughs> I, I timed that perfectly. <laughs> All right, Doc Everett, are you ready, sir? Let's do some surgery. Your edge is very sharp. It slashes nicely. Your tip punctures easily, cuts on the way out. With all these cuts, it will kill. <laughs> all right, gentlemen, it's time for the strength test. Now, to test the strength and overall construction of your blades, I'll be attacking our armored targets over here. Peter, you're up first. Are you ready? Let her rip, Peter Chip. Peter, um, I'm going to start with your handle. I find it really comfortable, uh, the way it flares towards the tip. Works pretty good for my hand. And I love what you did with this kind of low layer count Damascus. It's very dramatic. But we've got some very deep rolls on this edge. There you go. Here, those chips, that's an issue. But all in all, you did a good job. All right, Everett, you ready? I am. OK. Yeah, piece of armor. Nice. All right, Everett, your blade still spot on. What I really like is the fact that, that that blade is at its widest point, maybe 3 sixteenths of an inch. You don't need weight and mass for strength in a properly tempered blade. That's really good. You've got a section of blade here that's not quite as sharp as it was right there. All in all, uh, I think you did a great job. Awesome. All right, Bladesmiths, this is the War Banner Slice. To test the sharpness of your blade, I will take your weapon and slash across these war banners. Peter, you're up first. You ready? Yes, sir. So where your edge has a chip, you can see it catches and rips through the banner. Where it's not, it cuts nicely. Overall, sir, it will cut. All right, Everett, it's your turn. You ready, sir? I think this beats the hell out of peer review. All right, let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Everett, your edge here does cut. It's sharp. It cuts in some of the areas. On some parts of it, it ripped. But overall, sir, it will cut. Awesome. All right, gentlemen, based on what we've seen in the weapons test, the judges have made their final decision about which of you is our next Forest and Fire champion. Peter, your sword took the most damage in our strength test. You had a rolled edge and your blade bent for that reason. I have to dismiss you from the forge. Come on forward. I feel a little sad, but uh, it's been an awesome experience. This loss is not going to deter me. It's going to just make me stronger. I may not be the forge and fire champion, but I still think I'm a badass smith. 
Well, Everett, your blade is comfortable, well-balanced, strong, and deadly, and that makes you the Forged and Fire champion, and that's a title that comes with a check for 10 grand. Good job. Come on forward and shake our hands. <laughs> This experience was really fun. It was really tough in a lot of places, and uh, it's been a hell of a ride.